Hi guys, it's Only Daily Katie, and today's video is just going to be a little chit chat, get ready with me. I don't have enough going on right now to really do a full vlog today, so I thought I'll just, you know, do my makeup, kind of do a little life update. This last week has been really crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm not guaranteed how long Grayson will sleep, so we should probably get moving. Um, I'm not a beauty guru. So please don't come for me in the comments. Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be using the James Charles palette. Literally, I got this in the mail like last week. And the only thing I want to use because it has like every color and then some that I wear. Um, I'm just going to put a little Urban Decay. But yeah, what's been going on? Why has this week been literally crazy? Hmm. Our car, our third car this year broke. <laughs> Completely like it was like the heater core. I'm pretty sure we never took it in because we knew it was gonna be expansive and We're so tired of having unreliable cars that we we're like you know what This is not okay. We were driving home literally within two blocks like our whole windshield and our whole speedometer was covered in like this thick coolant smelling vapor we couldn't David could not see anything I had to like take a blanket and like wave it away with all the windows down it was insane like I thought we were gonna crash and die and we were like a like a block more away from our house we spent three days like every free second driving down the street that has like a billion jillion car um, dealerships and we decided to just full on invest in something that we think is gonna last us a long time. We got a Kia Soul. Um, it's a 2010, we're 19. We couldn't afford like a brand new car, but like we were driving a 2004. So a 2010 is like a huge jump. My car was only a 2000. I will link below the <laughs> buying my first car story time because that was a whole nother disaster yeah it took three days fun fact it was like one of the first cars we found the first day but we were unsure if that's like the one we wanted to go with really thinking about the soul like when we sat in that we were like this is the one like this is a family car that we think is gonna last us at least long enough you know so that we can trade it in and upgrade in a, like two years but pretty much the reason why we were hesitant about it was because we were going to be charged 30% interest because we did not have a co-signer and I was like that's insane like the car was worth 8000 by the end of it we would have paid like 13000 so we would have paid $5,000 in interest that's crazy that's literally insane and the car payments were like 270 a month plus full coverage insurance for young teenagers. Insane. So we were like, we don't really want to pay $500 a month for a car, you know, that's not brand new. So we are going to go to like a new dealership. But I did a little um, finessing. I got them to take the loan through a credit union instead of their like normal bank because David's a part of a credit union so um, that's kind of what led them to start thinking that way so the interest went down from 30% to like 6.9 the car payments went down from 280 to like 171 so that is why we went with the Kia we weren't gonna get anything cheaper Talking way too much and not doing my makeup fast enough but yeah, that's like the car update. We got a really nice, reliable car. It's so smooth. It's so great. Like I said, watch my other video from like two years ago because it's a huge upgrade for me. Grayson is going to be three months old tomorrow. And it's literally insane. Like becoming a mom has been like the most challenging thing that I have ever done. But it's also amazing, and I can't believe that he is um, three months old. I'm sorry, this is kind of terrible lighting for you. I'm just working with what I got. Yeah, but like I was saying, he's three months old. He's so much more, like, responsive to us. Like, 
he talks so much and it's so cute he like started actually sucking on his thumb like he was always putting his hands in his mouth but like like the actual thumb and it's adorable he wears size two diapers but they're getting a little snug so by the time we finish the ones we have we just bought like one more case of like 200 he'll probably be in size three so he's wearing three to six and six month size clothes for like his upper body but his lower body like his legs aren't chunky so he's still only in three month size clothes so that's kind of weird like it's a lot of mix match outfits right now because like I bought like set outfits and the pants don't fit him but the onesies are tight so it's been very interesting he's been spinning up crazy like I feel like the probably like two or three loads of just baby um, clothes and blankets today because he's a messy eater especially when we feed him through a bottle he like likes to blow bubbles with it he thinks it's funny um, I'm pretty sure because he always like smiles at us as he does it super cute I think I've mentioned this but our actual apartment doesn't have a washer and dryer inside of it we have to pay like three dollars a load and do like the on-site laundry mat and I pretty much told David like we are not having another kid until we move into a place that has a washer and dryer because the amount of money we have to spend just washing his clothes not even like our towels and our clothes it's insane like he needs to stop he needs to stop spitting up as much as he does when he was born he hated tummy time like once we started doing tummy time he hated it. He would scream and scream and scream and just drool on whatever he was on and not actually like participate. Just recently, he randomly started like not really loving it, but not minding it. And he has like really good head and neck control. That was a big concern of mine was, oh, what if he doesn't like catch up? What if he, you know because I don't force him to do tummy time as much as like other people are doing it. What if he can't do it? But he caught right back up in that sense. I'm a little worried about his weight just because in this two month appointment, he was in the 10 percentile and we've always struggled with his weight. Like he dropped um, almost a pound of his birth weight um, in like three days because of latching issues that we didn't really know that was going on. And what else has been going on besides the car and baby growing up way too fast? Oh, school-wise is the other thing I wanted to come on here and talk about. I am done with school in like two weeks, two and a half weeks. And that's so exciting. Like I get like the winter break, you know, between fall and winter term. I'm so excited because this semester has been extremely difficult. I failed. I'm actually failing a class and I uh, that's really new for me and it kind of like really sucks because I'm not trying to brag or anything but like I was always on honor roll I struggled to get A's I never struggled to get a C you know like so that just kind of shows like the type of student I was but I kind of bit off more than I can chew I thought I could go full-time when the term literally started like a week before I had my baby or I mean a week after I had my baby and so that was crazy so I was adjusting to a newborn and trying to do three of my main classes like prereqs and I'm failing my writing class and there's a week left in the term and I have like a 40% like there's no recovering I cannot get it up 30% in one week there's just not enough assignments to make up for the ones I missed so that really sucks. I need to go like talk to an academic advisor and like register for my winter term classes and see like if I can just retake it on campus because I think that if I didn't do online, I wouldn't have failed, but I couldn't keep up with three classes online. Like that was too much. But I'm getting B's in my other two classes, so I didn't do terrible for the fact that I had a newborn for over half the term, but I'm not doing great either but I just wanted to like share that because like I feel like so many people try to like 
only talk about their victories and not so much their... It's hard to multitask. How do beauty gurus do this? I'm like scatterbrained. But like I was saying, it. I feel like so many people online try to like keep a fake personality and like a fake thing um, and not really show like their failures or like real life stuff. And so I just wanted to come on here and be like, yeah, I'm failing a class, you know, I'm going to have to retake it and like learn from it and grow and continue to like improve because that's all you can really do. You know, you, you can't like stop. You have to just keep moving forward. I'm too lazy to go get my highlighter, so we're gonna use eyeshadow. And I'm gonna move you guys so you can actually see what I did on my face better. See, I need to get a tripod so I can film this way. I look so much better in natural lighting, don't we all? But pretty much, this is what I'm going to be wearing on my face today. Um, I hope you guys didn't mind this little like sit down, get ready with me type of vibe instead of always vlogs or always like more planned videos. Um, I will have everything I used on my face linked in the description below in case anyone's interested. You're probably not. Um, if you want to know my nail polish, I'll link that too. I just know those are common things that are asked about. If you like this video and you want to see more of me, please. Thumbs up this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell n next to it so you know when I upload. I've actually been uploading pretty consistently, which is rare for me if you've been subscribed for a while. So, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!